Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and today's video is going to be a week in my life. It is Sunday, January 2nd. Usually I start my vlogs on Mondays, but we're having a fun day today, so I feel like I just wanna bring you guys along. Here's my mama. We are on our way to brunch. Um, we're going with my mom's friend, Diane. Uh, I'm really excited. We're going to this place called THC in San Diego. It's like by the beach. Um, and it's it's just called The Holding Company. There's no THC or anything in it. So it's such a great place. I love it. It's beautiful views, great food. Um, so I'm really excited. Uh, we're gonna have a great time and I'm gonna bring you guys along. Okay, so we stopped for gas. My mom's getting gas. We're at 7-Eleven right now. I just love 7-Eleven. I really feel like because I lived in Louisiana for um, my undergrad and we didn't have a 7-Eleven there and I really just missed it and I still miss it. 7-Eleven is amazing. Is there a 7-Eleven where you guys live? Because I want to know. Also this morning I started the Starless Sea by I think it's by Aaron Morgenstein. Chef's Kiss. I love it so far. I'm like 60 pages in or something like that. I love it. But yeah, I'm so excited to start to finish reading it. It's so good. I think it's gonna be like one of my favorite books ever we'll see it's too early to tell but i think it might be also y'all let's just like admire my nails they look so freaking good they're gel i used to get acrylic powder but i just feel like the shine that you get from gel is just so much better love baby you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place cause the love you give you can't be replaced so go now So we just parked we actually got really lucky with parking and so we're headed up to the rooftop now how do you feel great we had a good time for you to the rooftop okay. so you to the back you are? next yeah. Sunday <laughs> peanut butter shots do we not see why okay ready you have to we have to try it, it. Uh, ready? ready let's go one Cheers! To 2022! Cheers! Woo! It is so freaking beautiful up here. Oh my god. I can't. Margaret. Hello. We are up here. Get in the sunshine. What are drinks? Things are good. Cheers. So it is Monday um, and we are headed to get our booster shots right now. So I'm going first and then my mom is going. Um, I have to get my booster shot for school and then it's also definitely way over the time for me to get it. Okay, so we are all boosted up now. My mom went first. At the light, turn right onto Mission Gorge Road. My mom went first and then I went. Um, so we're headed to Chick-fil-A right now for breakfast and then we're gonna do some book shopping. I have the books that I want already because I have my 2022 like to be read, my TBR already set for the entire year. Will I read more books than what's on my TBR? Probably like for sure. But these are the ones that I'm like prioritizing for the year. Um, so we're getting Chick-fil-A, very excited. Hopefully we make it in time, um, but yeah. Sadly, could not get breakfast, so I got a spicy deluxe sandwich and fries at fucking 11 a.m. Okay, so we went to one Barnes & Noble. I ended up getting this book, Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. 
Um, this is like a, a kid's book and then it's like middle grade, I think. Um, and then this is the end of men by Christina Sweeney Baird, 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 Bard, um, which is literally about like this virus that kills men. Um, so excited to read those. Those are, these are both on my 2022 reading list. We came here though, so that I could get the Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstein, which I like really, really want. I'm in the middle of reading right now. It's amazing and I want to read it physically and I want to own it. So we are headed to another Barnes and Noble. Yay, kids. Okay, select body care is like half off. So the girl has to go in. Hey babes, so it's literally Thursday. I know I haven't talked to you guys since Monday. Um, all I've been doing is recovering from getting this shot. My hair looks, she looks a little crazy today. The we go, got her a little bit back better. Um, I'm about to go to happy hour with my aunt um, and my uncle and my mom. Um, so I'm about to quickly like, put some powder on and do my eyebrows real quick um but i wanted to try out some new products um so i got some new stuff from sephora i never shared with you guys so i got the better than sex mascara the mini um i got this fenty beauty gloss balm in glass slipper and then i got another fenty beauty um like the gloss balm cream and i got this in fenty glow um, and then I also got a mini of the Milk Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray that everybody's been talking about. So let's see how this is. This is supposed to like keep your makeup on, girl. On. So I put that on. I'm also going to put this MAC Mineralize um, Time Check Lotion. Love this. We've been loving this for years. It's amazing. We're doing quick, my good babes, quick. Okay, so I'm gonna speed through. We're gonna speed through the parts that like aren't new stuff. Okay. Okay, so boom, hair. The hair is kind of a mess right now. The hairline, we're looking a little... Let me just... Right here, we're looking a little crazy. Hopefully, that looks a bit better. Okay, let's spray one more time with the mist. Not gonna lie, the spray brought the hairline a little bit back, brought it together a bit more. All right, so all I have to do now is we're gonna take the Better Than Sex mascara because I'm not applying lashes. Um, everybody talks so much about this, so I'm curious to see how it is. So let's just let's get into it. Let's see how it is. Let's see if it's worth the hype. I love the applicator already. These hair pieces. Okay. Oh my God, I love the applicator already. I see the hype because I've barely put anything on and my lashes look long. Mind you, I've been wearing eyelash extensions that I've been doing on myself for like the last two months. So my lashes are not where they used to be. It's a little drier than I expected. First impressions are good. If I had the time to like really, really do this, I'm sure it would be even better. All right, so we're gonna take, we're gonna just do the Fenty, the cream. I haven't even tried these on my lips, so. Oh, this is the wrong one. This is what the glass slipper looks like. It's just a clear. I like the setting spray also. The setting spray, she's cute. I'll show you guys when I get in the car too. Okay, here's the cream. Okay, she's a cute. She's a moment. We stand. She also looks like she's gonna be fine without a liner, which is great. I'm gonna quickly pop on a liner because I'm extra. But we love. We stand. And if I can find the liner, yeah, the liner just go with it. 
basic one. Okay, let me put my jacket on and all that. Tell me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Okay, outfit of the day, very cute. Feeling good. Okay, we're leaving quickly, so I'll quickly do my outfit of the day. Uh, flannel from, like the flannel jackets from Shein. I'm literally coming right now. Top is from Shein. Jeans are from American People. Shoes are from Ugg. Don't drop the leaf. Purse is from Telfer and Ugg. Let's go. Okay, so we are finally in the car. The lighting is playing us. There we go. Um, my mom, she looks very cute. You look very cute, mom. Thanks. Very luxurious. Okay. Okay, Miss Ma'am. Anytime you put them Versace sunglasses on, it just gives every single time. So I'll have her do like her outfit of the day and maybe have her like get a better one for me. But we are headed to happy hour. So now you're all I need. Personality. Everything you do. It's me love. Okay. okay, so outfit of the day. Got this flannel thing from Shein. I got this shirt from Shein, jeans from American Eagle, shoes from Ugg, and then the Ugg is how far um, collaboration. <laughs> okay, let's pan on out so you can see everything. Yes. Outfit of the day, celebrity jeans by Pink, or no, celebrity jeans, celebrity pink jeans from Macy's, Ugg boots. I got my leather jacket from Banana Republic, my blouse from a BJC Penny, and I got the Louis. Louis. Pan out. Thing about you. Hey guys, so it is Friday. Um, we are getting a, a late start to today. Um, but we'll have a fun day like that we're showing with you guys. Um, so it is 436. Um, but we're headed to Starbucks and then we're going to the mall. We're going shopping, which is really exciting. Um, I'm thinking right now if I have my gift card. I think I do. Hopefully I do. If I don't, I'll just give it to my mom. Um, but yeah, things are good. I did my makeup today. I really didn't even do like that much with my makeup. It was like a concealer and powder kind of day. But I have like my new setting powder that you guys, I mean my new setting spray that you guys got to see. Loved that. Um. So yeah, it's pretty good lighting. I don't know, something's going on in my settings. I'm not loving something in my settings right now, but I do think the lighting is good. Um, but my mom went to work um, and I kind of like chilled. I finished the Starless C. <sighs> okay, so I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a five star or four star. I rated it a five star. I think it's gonna be a five star because it's gonna be a book that I think about a lot, but it didn't like end with like a nice you know wrapped bow like all of the answers were not answered and i just feel like i like when i read like a 500 something page book for me to like have answers about the world but i have like pretty much as many questions as i did in the very beginning um uh, so i don't know don't love that but i also like love the journey that we went on the last half of the book made me think i was literally going insane like you feel like you're going insane with the characters um so that was like a whole vibe like not vibe but that was a whole journey so it was a good it was a very whimsical book i don't know if i would recommend this to other people though because there are other whimsical, whimsical books like the Ten Thousand doors of january that i think are just genuinely like as a book like technically written better if that makes any sense like i think that the book is written beautifully i think it's very whimsical i think that like the journey that you go on is a fun journey but i think that there are like are obvious plot holes um and there's like a bunch of stuff that isn't explained which is why i'm like there are other books that i think that are technically like better like like when i'm saying technically i mean like literally like technicalities of writing but i enjoyed the i enjoyed the journey so yeah <laughs> Okay, I think I want to do a white chocolate mocha with Karen. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, um, can I get a white chocolate mocha grande made with coconut milk? What size? Grande. And then which milk did you say you wanted to be made with? Coconut milk. Coconut. Can I get you anything else? Um, can I also add caramel drizzle to that and a pump of ca uh, caramel syrup? You said caramel drizzle, and then I couldn't hear the last part. What was it? Caramel syrup. One pump. One pump. Can I get you anything else? 
Um, let me have a caramel macchiato iced grande light ice with um, 2% right, and extra like caramel drizzle. You said extra caramel, right? Uh-huh. And, and a water. And then a water. Is yes. that going to be all for you today? Yes. Your total for that's going to be $12 at the window. Thank you. It'll be fourteen seventy five at the window. Thank, Thank you. you. So I got a reindeer cake pop. Never had that. I was going to do chocolate, but then I was like, why not do reindeer? Like, you know, whatever. Let's see. So we'll do a reindeer cake pop uh, taste test. Using lighting, but here is the reindeer um, cake pop. It's so cute. Okay, let's see. Very, pretty good. Oh, wait, sorry, there's like caramel on it. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it's pretty good. I really like that. I think we should try these. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. You had a hot drink or cold drink? A hot drink. Oh no, it's supposed to be hot. Oh, this was supposed to be hot. Oh, it's supposed to be hot? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, she put it in as a frappuccino. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell it is, though. To the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh my god, yeah, this is cute. This is bad. I need to go to another store to get these. This should ask her if they have one. They're at DSW. DSW? Mm -hmm. Okay, I yeah. I saw them last night. That's why I came here to see what they had. They have a six but and an eight. Okay, yeah, because I cannot fit this. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a Which little bit. Which DSW did you go to? We should go. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this not going to work, baby. It was cute. This is real cute. Mm -hmm. Girl. Still one of the better ones. Name it like no Mission Valley. Hoarding Plaza don't even. There. We got, I got two hats. I'll show you guys. Very cute. Very happy. I've been wanting to get these for a while. Wait, mask. Where's your mask at? You need a mask. Mr. Artemis, no, we've been needing a mask. I'm not doing this with you. I'm going to order some and they're going to be here. You've been saying this for years. It's something about the way you stay. We just got back home and I want to show you guys everything that we got. Um, we ended up going to Target, you guys got to see. And I'm just going to show you everything we got from the mall and, tar and then the books that I got from Target. So we'll start with lids. Okay. <laughs> this is the first place we ended up going to. Um, so I got these two hats. I got this black and white socks hat. And I got this... Um, blue who is the la la who what is the la for dodgers. dodgers okay i don't know these teams i'm not even gonna play it's just for aesthetics and i got the ones where it's like adjustable and it's like more feminine very cute so that's what i got from the lid uh, i guess i could take it keep it out of the bag so i can remember everything um so i got that from lids and then from America, oh no, from this little cheap store in the mall, I got some eyelash glue, the star glue, adhesive. I don't remember if I like this better or the duo glue, but um, I'm not doing my eyelash extensions for a while, like a couple more weeks or whatever. So I'll be using this. Um, then from American Eagle, 
my mom and I both got the same black jeans from American Eagle. We got, oh, actually, my mom got, yeah, no, no, we got the same ones. We both got the high-rise jeggings. I got my pair in an eight regular. Um, I already have these jeans. It's just like my puppy, like, nips at them, so they're not, well, they do, they're not up to par anymore. So that's American Eagle. Okay, my um, my cousin, she owns a beauty supply in Plaza Bonita, so y'all go check her out. I took a picture of her, um, you know, of like her store and stuff. So this is what we got from, the, from her beauty supply. So we got some butterfly clips or clamps. We got um, some, oops, sorry, some wig caps, and we got them in the color Natural New. Um, we got red tail comb. We got a got to be glue. We got some ghost bond glue. That's the glue I use for my hair. I mean, I'm not, I don't have any glue in my hair right now, but this is the glue. Okay, everybody was talking about this. This is the Ebony New York Wonder Lace, Bl Lace Bond. This is the Extreme Firm Hold. No residue or build up. 10 times hold for lace. Fast drying. So I'm trying to like kind of stop using glue as much. So we're gonna test this out. Um, we're gonna test this out this weekend. We're gonna test this out and see if I can go like a whole week just using that spray. Um, and then we got a little hairbrush. That's what we got from her beast fly. Um, I just wanna put all the bags. Okay. Oh, I was, the whole reason we were even here was so that I could get some new boots. So I got these, they're like a little big, but I think they'll be fine. Um, these are the boots. This was so cute. We got this from like this like cheap store in the mall. Oh my gosh, I love these. They were like they have this like little pointed, this little pointed um shape. Like this, whatever. They got the thick um what is it, like the thick heel, so it'll be a little bit more yeah, stable. <laughs> I'll be having to run <laughs> to get it from her because she be quick. She'll drop it and I gotta run and pick it up before she pick it up again. No, Kaimila. No receipts, baby girl. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so then from Ari, I just, I just uh, threw that bag around. Um, from Ari, I got this pajama set, which I'm very excited about. This is what it looks like. Well, it's like, I don't know if it's like, it's not like a full set, but they were like on top, like the shirt was on top and then the um, pants were on the bottom. So we like made a set, I guess. Um, but it's just this green shirt and it says just chill on it we're gonna pretend that the back doesn't have pink on it we're just gonna completely pretend it doesn't okay thanks everyone let's do that together and then these are the pants i've been wanting some like flannel pants um for bed i definitely have been wanting them so this is what they look like i got them in a medium i got both in a medium very cute from Ari. and then these are the bottoms super cute so excited to wear that i'm trying to keep everything all together okay then we went to morphe and i got this for morphe so i got a new beauty um a beauty like sponge or whatever so i have some from aoa beauty but like i don't know those don't have like like a long like shelf life like you can only use them a few times i feel like and then they just like I don't know they don't absorb the water well and then i feel like it makes my makeup separate and i don't like that i love the og beauty blenders but i left them out of my house i don't know what i was doing i left them at home um so i ended up getting this one for morphe and then everything was 30 percent off so like in store which was great um i also got the morphe foundation brush i'm just gonna take this out the back too because i'm gonna use it and put everything away um so let's just put this in the trash okay so, oh, actually, I guess I should read the brush so you guys can know which brush. So this is the M444, the Deluxe Definition Buffer Brush. So this is the one that I got. I have a brush that's like kind of similar from e.l.f., but it's a little bit different, a little bit more compact. So hopefully this works out well. Okay, so I also got this flat liner definer brush, and I want to use this for my eyebrows to um, clean up my eyebrows and stuff with concealer so this is the brush pretty simple um and then i think i got one more brush yeah 
I got this one to blend out my concealer. This is the um, M173 Chubby Buffer Brush. And it was, yeah, it was for you to like blend out your concealer and stuff, which is like perfect. Cause I want to blend it out with my brushes and stuff. And then I want to go in with the beauty sponge. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if I've ever bought any brushes from Morphe. I think this is like actually my first time. Um, and then, okay, so I use the MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. That's what I use. Um, but like we went to one MAC, like actual MAC store, they were, had ran out. Now I kind of think that like we were looking for two different things. Um, by looking at these colors, I'm like, we were, I think we were looking for two different things. And then we went to Macy's and I went down to the Mac there and they didn't have it. So I'm gonna look online. They were saying that their they're like pomades are getting reformulated or something like that. But I think we were talking about the diff a different product. So this is like getting too dry. Like doing my makeup this morning was like, I mean, well, not this morning. Doing my makeup today, I was like, oh my God, it's getting really dry. So I went to, back to the OG, the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in Ebony, baby. I used this such a long time ago and I remember like I didn't love it but I'm like that was when I first started doing makeup like I didn't even really know how to do makeup back then um, and especially like my eyebrows and stuff so I'm like all right we'll try this again the OG oh do like this is really the OG look at the size comparison too so then here is um, so here's like the size comparison okay we'll see how that goes that's all the makeup related stuff okay and then from target here are the two books that i got so i got verity by colleen hoover so this book is on my uh, 2020 tbr list and so i was gonna get this from where were we at i think we were at barnes and nobles but this was like completely out everywhere okay let's hope i can get this fucking sticker off Ugh, that's the only thing that's like the worst part of buying books from target is when they put this stupid sticker on there and you have to like pray okay stickers off so crisis averted okay so i tried to get this from barnes and nobles but they didn't have it i'm like now realizing i got a paperback and for my personal collection like i don't mind reading paperbacks let me just say that but i prefer to look at um hard covers i just think they're more like aesthetically pleasing i love the way they look on my shelves i do think that like reading paperbacks is like easier but whatever so this book is basically about like this writer who's like on financial like ruin or whatever um and she gets hired to like finish the books of like this famous author i think um and she ends up reading like this manuscript about uh like the author's life and like she reveals like what happened during like this really dark period of her life and was never supposed to be um like you know shared with anybody so it's supposed to be like kind of like this like romance thriller because colleen hoover if i'm remembering correctly she's a romance author so um i've never read i've never read anything by colleen hoover but i'm excited to read this i think it's gonna be really weird um it's not that long let's see how many pages it is i try to do this like okay it's only 314 pages yeah so i feel like i should be able to like fly through this pretty quickly um and then i got people we meet on vacation okay so this is actually my second emily henry book and i literally haven't read beach read yet i'm trying to say do i have beach read here let me see did i bring it with me i didn't bring it with me but i had beach read because i got it from book of the month um which is by emily henry but i haven't read it yet i tried to read it on audiobook and like i don't think i was in the right headspace for it so i'm gonna try to read it again physically and with audiobook and see how that goes um let me get this sticker off so i can like so people we meet on vacation is about these two friends that some something ended up happening and they ended up not being friends again but then they see each other like on vacation i guess that's all i really know i really don't know much about this book but a lot of people have really enjoyed it um it's a little long for a romance it feels long i don't know maybe it's not that long but it feels long let's see this is 359 pages so it's not that long but it feels thick <laughs> 
so i kind of want to jump into this book but i don't know if i should jump into this book or if i should jump into nevermore which is basically about like this cursed girl who ends up getting whisked away to like another land nevermore is a lot longer and i already started i literally just finished a pretty long book let's see nevermore is so the book is 465 pages i just finished like i think it's like 527 pages or something like that let me see okay so the starless sea is actually 570 pages so i literally just finished this book so it would be nice to like jump into like a people we meet on vacation like a quick you know 350 pages and be done in like two days that would be nice or like a day that would be nice so I don't know I'm either gonna read Nevermore or people we meet on vacation I think I'm gonna put a poll up on Instagram and see what everyone says but Nevermore is also a kids book so it's either like I think it's middle grade so I feel like I would also fly through this pretty quickly so I'm gonna put a poll up on Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram make sure you guys follow me so you guys can help me make like decisions and stuff and stay up to date with me but I am about to take off my makeup make cookies with my mom and like relax and stuff so let's get into that <laughs>